It's me, Roku! And today I'm here for an unboxing. Well, it's not really an unboxing because I already ripped off the packaging of these things that I'm receiving for my birthday. <laughs> because today we are the 28th of March! It's my birthday! The only celebrity I can think of is Lady Gaga. She's also born on the 28th of March, not the same year, of course. So, <laughs> I've just received my many numerous presents from my boyfriend, which is just here behind me. That's why you can hear him just by the sound of the keyboard, but whatever. Just forget about that. So, first thing I'm so happy that I managed to put this code together. Yeah, it's a kind of OTT bittersweet with bunnies. I don't know, I love it, so tell me, what do you think? I will probably post it on Closet of Reels if I am not too afraid. <laughs> bunny clips and the bunny blouse from Bunny Line and the bunny socks that I really like. So yesterday I received something that is not really a present because I bought it myself but I was so happy to buy it because I think it's so important to support the local communities and there is an... how do you say that? Association? Can you say association? So in Paris, I'm not living in Paris, I'm so far away from Paris, France is not only Paris, okay? <laughs> so uh, there is an association from Paris that made magazines. I received the fanzine, but I was so happy to receive these little stickers that goes together. Magazine made by Loditas and they work a lot on it. So I was so interested in taking part in this project. But of course, I'm so late for that, but they will make a magazine every six months, I think, twice a year. So I ask if I can be part of it, so they accept it. So I'm not really talented, I cannot draw anything, but they ask me if I wanted to write an article and I agree. Next number will be on the plus size loaded up. So this one is about Valentine's Day and the next one will be about plus size loaded up. So maybe if you are on Ruffle Chat you may have seen my survey. So I made a survey to have more opinions from the plus size loaded up and other loaded up. Everyone is welcome to answer. And also they made a little drawing, so sweet little drawing, and they put a message for me, like, thank you, Roku! Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna color this one bittersweet, of course, even if it's supposed to be sweet, but I'm color it, coloring it bittersweet. Better for my mental health. Sure! <laughs> First thing, I sold many of my old dresses, many of my Ita dresses that I've been keeping for so many years, I don't know why, because I've got this this feeling I cannot sell anything because I'm too attached to clothes and stuff. So thinking about it now, I try to be less Ita, so I had to sell them and yeah, I, I have no occasion to put them on, so... With the money that I got from selling my old dresses, which was not a hundred euro, hundred dollar <laughs> a dress, as you can imagine, it was more like 10, 20, 30 euros, yeah, I managed to buy this parasol! <laughs> so I had no parasol at all. I've been wanting to buy a parasol for like 10 years, I couldn't find any. And I found one on Angelic Pretty Paris, but it was like 60 euro, which was okay because it was pink with ruffles on it, so it's very pretty. But of course, did not uh, ship the parasol until the to the place I live, and I'm so far away from Paris. I mean, I can't take a bus and wait 20 hours just to get a freaking parasol and go back to, with my parasol in the bus for 20 more hours. Just not feasible, no. So I decided to... Oh, I can hear the screamings of uh, 
advanced Lolita criticizing me. Uh, <laughs> I bought it from Amazon and I know it's a lace parasol for two reasons. <laughs> First, I think it's pretty. <laughs> No, it's um, it's almost summertime, so I think it will be great because parasol that looks too much like umbrellas. It's not very appropriate to the style I'm going for, and I think I will use it in a photo shoot using my Walorita outfit. So this one is great. So there are so many details like roses and ribbon and lace on the handle so it's it's I think it's gorgeous and I think the lace is pretty <laughs> so tell me what you think um, two days after I bought it I saw somebody on lace market selling the exact same one so I was a bit sad about it <laughs> but it was half the price so half the price this is so sad yeah, anyways, I like it and I hope that's gonna be good for my photo shoot. The second thing is the thing that I really, really like. In fact, I, I've got a petticoat. I know that maybe to you it seems like I'm not having one, but in fact, I bought it like in 2000 and 2016 maybe, and it was super expensive in close child. Uh, when I was in Tokyo, so I was thinking maybe it's really great quality petticoat. It's a good quality, but it's not the good shape and it flattened over the years. So it's really, really flat and really ugly now. Um, so it's good for casual because I'm wearing Lolita every day, so it's good I just put it on and just going out like that in a very casual way. So. It's okay, but I really wanted something more poofy and I ordered <laughs> some petticoats on some websites coming from China. Uh, you know that they have so many troubles with productions and it, nothing arrived. <laughs> to be clear, I'm petticoatless. So I was so sad and I created few months ago I created an account on Lace Market and I was searching for Petticoat and I found the brand Turu Turu Lolita. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Chinese? Is it Japanese? Is it American? I don't know. And I heard this brand before because Lovely Lord talked about it and I was pretty sure that the quality was good so I decided to order from them and there were only the white Petticoat and I was almost sure that they had a black one and I wanted black one because mo most of my dresses are black in fact all of them <laughs> and so yeah I was sad so I, I sent them uh, messages and their reply they were so nice to me they said of course we have the black one so the listing is here because they didn't put the listing at the moment so they are to realist the article so just for me <laughs> was so proud so we exchanged so many messages and it was so nice to me and I was so happy they were writing with cow emojis and <laughs> that was so nice and I received the package super fast because usually to ship in the US it's really fast you have items within two weeks but in France in it sometimes takes months so I expected to wait like three maybe four months I don't know and I received the package within maybe one week and a half so it's it was super fast to me so yeah I was so happy to open it and the package was so small I put your picture here but maybe it's not a good petticoat I don't know and after I thought about it yeah maybe as it is plastic circles as a hoop skirt they just turned it around and wrapped it like that and yes when I opened the packages it was like boom going out so yeah it's very good quality in fact so I was considering taking the plus size because I'm often considered as plus size so but the size the more regular size seemed to be okay so I bought the one uh, the regular one and it's perfect it's perfect on my size it's 
it's on my waist, it's falling down on my waist like perfectly, it's not, it's not painful at all. The size is adjustable and it's, and it is so big, <laughs> it's so poofy, that's a real poof, yeah, and also it's so light and uh, it, it feels so weird because the the hair, <laughs> the air, I can feel the air between my laps, <laughs> that's weird to say, but yeah, with my actual petticoat, uh, I couldn't feel that because it was all chiffon and um, cotton polyester i don't know which material is that maybe polyester uh, so it's not puffy and the i cannot feel the air it's 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 heavy and it's it's not very pleasant to wear in summer yep <laughs> it was the second thing i had for my birthday and i really love it I'm going to show you a before after so that you can see the difference because I'm so proud of me. <laughs> Next item um, is an order from my boyfriend. It was a surprise so I didn't know what he would get me from Etsy and he brought me a piece of cotton fabric and the pattern is adorable it's like you know that when in Japan they make little cup of coffee and with latte art on it and it just like panda bears and bears it's so cute I love it so much I don't know, I really don't know what I'm gonna make out of it because I'm so bad at sewing. I'm just a big debutant. I don't know anything yet about sewing, but maybe ribbons or maybe a little bag to carry things. I don't know yet, so tell me if you have any idea, which is not too complicated to make because making a skirt out of that, that will be complicated. <laughs> too complicated for me at least. Uh, next thing is, and that's gonna be such a cliche, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry for people that will have their eyes burnt by this, but in fact a few years ago I had a big lack of hangers uh, and I was looking for cute hangers because I was like you can't find anything on the internet, why wouldn't you? find cute hangers, for example, pink hangers or hangers with heart shape on it. Mm -hmm. So um, I found on Amazon cute hangers, so I wanted to order them, but it was like out of stock or two months delay for shipping, so too much for me. And then watching Lolita videos and Lolita wardrobe tours, I watched so many of them, I saw so many times these velvet heart-shaped hangers. I know, I know, but they are so sweet. It's my, it's my favorite. So soft, so soft. <laughs> uh, it's my favorite color, and I think they are really cute. So the time I get them, everybody are the same. <laughs> So I'm so sorry, it's such a cliche, but I really love the color, I love everything about them, so I already have black normal hangers, so I will have the pink and black, so maybe I will take the this one for the dresses I have, and the other one for the blouse, I don't know. I'm sorry if you've seen them too many times, but I love them so much. Next thing my boyfriend offered me is a bunch of clips so I didn't really open them so I wanted to show you it's so cute because it's all it's a bunch of pink clips with stars ribbons heart and bunnies even the white chocolate which is actually a pink chocolate so I really like it I don't know, but the bunny one is one of my favorite. It's so cute. And it's perfect with my cord I'm wearing now, so I don't know, I can put it there. <laughs> it's it's really cute. 
and it's so cool when you buy something like that because you have so many possibilities it is so versatile a hook complicated word <laughs> he knew that I had a big like of necklaces and rings so he brought me a necklace and the packaging was so cute with the ribbon and you have the little cards so it's written tiny hands food jewelry food jewelry huh <laughs> two words that I love put together <laughs> also this paper that you usually put on cake here is the thing! So it's so cute, it's a macaron necklace and if you look at the details you can see it's raspberry macaron necklace. So it's pink and it's macaron which is my favorite dessert of all time. I really like it so every time I have a dress with desserts on it I think I will put this necklace because it is so cute! And I've seen so many other macaron necklaces on Etsy, so I will buy some more, I think, because it's so cute. <laughs> I have another necklace that I've been waiting for so long. I love that brand that I found on Etsy a few months ago, um, maybe last year. Um, and so many other Lolita talked about it. It's Dolly House. And I wanted the the bunny which one the pink bunny necklace which is so cute even the packaging is so cute so yeah sure I will definitely wear this necklace with that cord I mean I don't even have a necklace hmm. I'm such Nita <laughs> and last item my boyfriend bought me is another necklace <laughs> and I wanted it so bad because it's Dino's necklace! <laughs> Look at the packaging, it's so cute! <laughs> I'm saying it's so cute so many times. Sorry. It's uh, my melody packaging. I mean, it's, it's so adorable. And the necklace, either you will love it, either you will hate it. <laughs> Look at you, your Tyrannosaurus. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Uh, let's see, T-Rex. It's a T-Rex-like necklace. It is so cute. It's a skeleton T-Rex necklace. And I love it. I think it's gonna be so good with my bag, with my dinosaur bag. And with my T-Rex plush, of course. It's pink. Who do you think I am? And it wasn't the only thing uh, in the packaging. So in the necklace packaging I also had a card. It's a card from Cha Wonderland, so it's the name of the shop. And I've got also a little note in French that says thank you for your purchase and leave me in the comments on, on my Etsy shop of course. So I think it's normal to leave a review when something is great. And in the package, uh, I don't know if it was a little present, but it, there were these two little things. Look at the tiny dinosaurs. This is so cute. Yeah, dinosaurs are so. Oh, it's a dinosaur strap. It is so cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Maybe on my phone. Oh, it's shiny dinosaurs. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at this. Wow, this is so cute. It's adorable. Pink dinosaurs are the best. Because of course they exist. <laughs> I mean, pink dinosaurs. <laughs> Classic. Well, <laughs> and also I think it was a present in the package, so I'm so, I'm so happy. It was so, so great. Oh, lollipop. And <gasps> it's my favorite. Favorite meme ever. <laughs> Philosoraptor. Be very afraid. Look at this the stickers. I have so many stickers. One day, if I have somewhere to put them, I will. But I don't want to. Wear. Oh, Dino egg. I, I think it's something that if you chew on it, like uh, weird liquid will come off. Oh, it's another sticker. Excellent. <laughs> 
I'm so, I'm so fan of this. Oh, and a cola stripe, so it's so cool. I think that's all. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, maybe I will receive my orders from Devon Spires one day, so yeah, I will make another unboxing. So tell me what you think about my unboxing, it's the first one that I do ever. So tell me what items did you like and would you like to have some of them? Have a great day, be bitter, but be sweet. I, I forgot to mention. I made a cheesecake out of chestnuts, but my mold was very poor quality, so it just broke and my cheesecake was just looking awful. But my boyfriend bought me another cake, a wonderful one. Look at this!